Hi, welcome back to my channel, Candle Fluffy Performs Reviews, and today I'm sharing with you all the candles that I finished in the month of September, year 2024. I've got all Bath and Body Works candles except I have one Walmart candle, so I'm going to talk about it first. It's the Mainstays Warm Fall Leaves Scented Candle with notes of crisp leaves, tangerine, and maple. And I think I got this last year. I don't normally uh, buy the Walmart candles, but I figured I needed to try them. And it didn't have anything exciting on the bottom. Now these are 14 ounces, Bath and Body Works, they're 14 and a half. Here's what this looks like. If I can get the lid off. All right. So it burned all the way down. Let me get more over here. Um, it's, you know, not extremely sooty or anything. I did have to cotton ball this a couple times. And strength and throw, um, I'm going to probably say maybe like a six. Basically, this is the Bath and Body Works scent leaves. But I don't think their notes are tangerine and maple. Um, and this candle, I think, was about $7. So, it's got a good price point. And I would probably purchase this again if it's uh, still available. And I have no idea if it is or not. So, that's the only non-bath and body. Now, here, I've got a little 4-ounce. Now, on the bottom, this says, you know... Uh, mahogany cotton, but that's not what this was. This is actually the perfect Christmas because I had that in a tester candle and it broke. So this is the perfect Christmas. And, you know, these do not burn the best, uh, but I could probably smell this okay for what it was. Um, you know, we can probably maybe give it a six, but it's just not one of my favorite scents. So, uh, I... Would probably not get this again and i unfortunately have like maybe one of these with that fancy lid that i got last year i think it was last year when they made that fancy lid so i'm not looking forward to burning that now maybe you know when it's cooler maybe the scent would be better and i i don't know what the scent notes are on this so i would not get that again knowingly <laughs> now i have an applewood and clove. And this is rich applewood, warm clove, and white birch. And the pour date on this has a 2022 pour date. Here's what it looks like inside. And there goes part of a wick. I don't think this gave me any problems, I, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, I like the scent, it's kind of just a smoky scent. Um, it didn't come back, and I might have only bought one as a backup. Um, so strength and throw is probably at least a seven and a half. Now, I don't like these boring jars, but I have plenty of candle holders, so that's not a total negative for me. So we'll just move right along. Then I finished warm apple pie. This is also poured in 2022. It's baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, flaky homemade crust. And I do kind of like the packaging on this one. Here's how it did. And I think I had a cotton ball this. Um, you know, this scent's never really strong. You know, it's probably like a six or six and a half. But I like it. It's got the buttery note of the crust. Not a lot of spice or apple. I don't know. I like this one. I, um, you know, I did buy this one every couple years or so. And I might have one somewhere in my stack of candles. I'd get this again. I like it in the wallflower. Normally it's better, but I like it. I would recommend it. And this is Enchanted Candy Potion. This is also a 2022 pour date. This is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries, 
whipped pixie dust. I don't think I had a cotton ball this one that I remember. And um, it's just a kind of a candy smell. It's kind of like in the family of Pink Fairy Gumdrop, but not exactly. Um, the packaging is just so okay to me. I think I did get one backup of this. And it performed at a strength and throw. Um, probably like mm, seven. I would get it again. Then the next one I have here is a snowy coconut frost. This is a 2022 pour date. This is iced coconut, white birch, and warm vanilla. Now the thing on this one, that's, look at that iridescent label. It's, it's nice. And look at like the top is nice. Here's what the inside looks like. You know, got some soot. Uh, the only thing on this one, it wasn't as strong as when I burned a snowy coconut frost uh, in the past, I think. So... That was kind of the bummer part. Um, we should probably just give it a 7. I would get it again. I like this scent. But I liked it when it was strong. Maybe in the year before that when I bought it. Then I finished a Blue Sky Breeze. It's got a 2023 20, pour date. Uh, morning spring air, fresh violet petals, crisp gala apples, English ivy. That's a mouthful. Here's what it looks like. And um, I think this did pretty good. You know, got a little bit of, you know, residue on the sides. Nothing crazy. And I like this scent. The only thing is, it reminds me of some type of Febre Febreze bathroom spray. From when I worked um, at a previous job, it just reminds me of one of the sprays I would get in using the bathroom. Uh, strength and throw on this one, maybe seven. And I think this one has more wax left over in it than some of the others, but it might just be because the jar is clear. And then the last one is the number 33, limited edition. And it was espresso beans, warm vanilla, and lemon peel. Uh, this has a, you know, 2023 pour date, but I think this actually came out this year. Here's what it looks like. And there goes some more wicks. And this performed really well. Look at there. And the strength on this, it kind of varied. Sometimes it seemed like I could smell it more than others. Uh, I'll be nice and say, I don't know, Seven, six 6.75. <laughs> I like this. I would get this again. Um, I know when it came out, I think I bought three originally. So I might have two left. And I like this neutral jar better than the applewood and clovewood one. Well, that's all I finished. I got through seven big candles and a baby. Have y'all burned any of these? If you have, I'd be curious to know what your opinion is. All right. I look forward to talking to you again about my empties in October. And I hope to do some haul videos that I'm behind on as well. All right, bye.